Mr. Van der Rossum, in just a few announcements. This Friday is the uh, first Friday of the month, December 3rd. So typically on first Fridays, we have a Mass at 7 p.m. That's first Friday Mass. And we have all night adoration in our daily Mass chapel until Saturday. Mass at 8 a.m., which is first Saturday. Those are beautiful devotions in the church. You can read about them. First Friday devotions and first Saturday devotions. The novena to the Immaculate Conception will begin this Tuesday, November 30. Take a bulletin because there's a full schedule every evening. We will have a Mass at 7 p.m. followed by the novena. And actually all the Masses throughout the nine days of the novena, we will be saying the novena after the Masses. So we'll take the bulletin because you can see the full schedule there. And also know that the uh, Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception is a holy day of obligation. So that will be next uh, Wednesday, December 8th. Our Masses for Holy Days of Obligation begin the vigil. So that will be Tuesday, December 7th at 6 p.m. We'll have the Mass. It's actually followed by a beautiful tradition of the people in Nicaragua, which is called the shouting or the griteria. So that will be December 7th, the vigil at 6 p.m. And then on the Solemnity, Wednesday, December 8th, we will have Masses at 8 in the morning and then again at 7 p.m. that evening. And remember, it's a holy day. It's treated just like a Sunday. So it's like a Sunday in the regular year. And this Tuesday, November 30th, is what is called the Giving Tuesday, the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. It's begun the campaign uh, for a week now, but in the church, we have what is called the I Give Catholic campaign. You can see it in our bulletin, in the website, in the Facebook page. So the link for the I Give Tuesday, which is the I Give Catholic campaign, you can see it there, and you can donate to your favorite charities in the Archdiocese. We have several ministries here uh, attached to the parish. I'm thinking, for example, the Deaf Apostolate that our dean uh, runs, and there are other ministries, and of course, the parish is there. Since we are blessed, Francis Xavier Silos, he's awaiting one miracle for his canonization. So when he's canonized, they will be Saint Francis Xavier Silos. But since it is in alphabetical order, we take advantage that he's blessed. So B is ahead of S. So we're way up there on the list for donations. So we thank you. If you go into the I Give Catholic campaign, you can see the parish there. You can make your contribution to the parish in uh, the Giving Tuesday, this Tuesday, November 30th. And one more thing. Uh, at the end of the year, we put out the envelopes for the new year. That's a way that you contribute to the church. And a lot of people are giving online. We have in the bulletin, you can give to the church online. Several people have opted to give online, which is great. Not a problem with that. But I have 37 envelopes or packets of envelopes that are not going to be used because people are donating online. So they are not using the envelopes anymore. And the envelopes of the church is an easy way to be able to contribute to the parish even when you're away. So if you go to a First Communion or somewhere else, people typically, they give their donation wherever they go. And that's okay, you can always donate to any of our churches. But one way that is easy to keep track of your donations to your parish is through the envelope. So if somebody has not been using the envelopes, we're gonna, by the way, those who are using it already, you will get them again at the end of the year. But those of you that have not been using them, I have 37 extra packets of envelopes that because of the people donating online, they're not being used and they're just sitting in the office. We don't want them in the office, we want them with you. So let me know, and it's an easy process. Uh, it helps us because uh, uh, at the end of the year, we can give you a letter that acknowledges your contribution and you can use that for tax purposes. So it's a, it's a helpful thing for you as well. Let us stand as we conclude our liturgy. Our